Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the 1000 piece Dairy Bar White Mountain Puzzle. This one was probably one of my favorite of the year, spoiler alert. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. what did we think about this puzzle? As I said in the intro, it was one of my favorite of the year. I love puzzles that we can do that have a bunch of little sections that you can do that make up the puzzle. That's super nice for somebody that is working with someone else on a puzzle. So I really enjoyed that and it honestly wasn't that hard at all, which was super, super nice. After having a few challenging hard puzzles these past few weeks, so we really, really enjoyed it. I also love cows. Cows are probably my favorite animal. So it has quite a few cows up here. And since it is the dairy bar, it should. So I just love it. It brought back so many memories of riding with my grandparents and just pointing out cows and so much more. So this one was definitely at the top of my list so far this year. I think the image is super cute and super clever. They have some baseball players down here. And then, like I said, they have some cows up here. I just love White Mountain's pictures on their puzzles. I think they're always so clever and always so colorful and just great. That's why White Mountain is one of our favorite puzzle brands. So here is a section of the puzzle. As you can see, the pieces do stick pretty decently together. So that is super nice that you're able to pick them up and move them pretty well. The pieces do stick in satisfyingly well, so that is another plus to this puzzle. So here are two pieces from the puzzle. The colors are extremely vibrant, as you can see by this red. They are a decent amount of thickness, and the cardboard is like a royal purple kind of color. I don't think I've seen another puzzle brand use this color, but I could 100% be wrong. But the thickness is just about the right amount, and they are rather glossy, but we have had definitely pieces be more glossy. So if you're doing them at night like we do, it doesn't cause a huge problem. As for puzzle dust, there's barely any. And honestly, I don't think all of this is a White Mountains. I think some is from a past puzzle. So good job, White Mountain. On my hardness scale, I would give this a 2 out of 10. It was not hard at all, especially with somebody else. Now, it could be totally different if you are doing this puzzle by yourself, but doing it with somebody else wasn't hard at all. I loved it so much, and I'm so excited that I actually got this one for my birthday. I wasn't expecting it. I don't even know if I knew this puzzle existed, and my mom found it, and she saw that it had cows, so she knew that I would love it. So like I said, this one was a birthday gift that I got about a month ago. 
So the big question is, will we be keeping this puzzle? And that is a major yes. I love it. I want to do it again. It was so much fun. So definitely look out on our Instagram in the future. If we decide to pull this one back out, I will post it. And for other updates, if you guys are not following our Instagram, it is Puzzle on Third Life. In the Christmas season, we have a bunch of Christmas puzzles. So not only are we doing our 12 days of puzzles, but we're also going to be posting some puzzles over on our Instagram that are not going to be on our YouTube. So if you want a second dosage of Christmas puzzles, definitely recommend going over there and following our Instagram. Once again, it is Puzzle on Through Life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future puzzle content. Also, make sure that you head over to our Instagram and give that a follow, which is Puzzling Through Life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next week's video. Bye.